everybody. Welcome to the Dollar Vigilante, helping you to survive and prosper during and after the dollar collapse. I've, uh, we're carrying on with a, a number of our ICO interviews, just checking out a number of the ICOs uh, going on out there. Of course, we've had numerous of them on. Uh, I think one of, one of the first we had on was uh, DBET, which I've seen has gone up quite a bit since we had it on. So uh, that's great. Uh, and uh, we're, we have on today SyncFab and actually have the CEO of SyncFab, uh, Jeremy Goodwin, and the Chief Strategy Officer, Andy Tong. And SyncFab essentially is connecting hardware manufacturers with hardware buyers uh, via the blockchain. We'll get into all that, and they're doing an ICO, which I believe has just, uh, if it hasn't gone live yet, it's about to, uh, and we're going to get into all of that. Uh, so if, uh, thanks for coming on, guys. Uh, maybe I'll start with you, Jeremy. Uh, we, what is SyncFab? Why did you start the company, and where, where, what are you doing? Absolutely, yeah. Thanks, Jeff. So SyncFab is basically, we're an Ethereum-based blockchain protocol and decentralized application. We connect hardware buyers directly to hardware manufacturers peer-to-peer -peer using smart contracts, streamlining our growing network of precision manufacturers being developed in public-private partnership with the San Francisco Bay Area City of San Leandro and a federal partnership under the Departments of Energy and Commerce. And this is through five regional manufacturing centers around the USA, and we're constantly exploring new partnerships to grow our network in innovating hardware industries such as automotive and aerospace. So think of us essentially as Blockchain smart contracts meet data-driven smart manufacturing for smart city economic development initiatives all around. Now, the reason I started this is I was previously running a NASDAQ-listed Chinese manufacturing company, and I got to see the dramatic change in the manufacturing industry as it shifted from manual intensive labor to these new advanced manufacturing technologies that were more conscientious of eco-sound production processes that could also foster economic development at the same time. So that's a mission that we're very passionate about. And the application of blockchain made perfect sense with the smart contracts coupling with the data-driven smart manufacturing. And Andy, my partner, has been very involved in the blockchain industry early on. I'll let him speak to that. Yeah, in terms of the blockchain background, I've been following uh, you know, crypto cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin since 2010, uh, you know, got involved in, you know, uh, investing into, you know, Bitcoin when it was like $50 back in 2013, following all these, you know, different tokens and cryptocurrencies and the technology is game changing. It's the, it's, it's in my opinion, you know, Web 3.0, uh, you know, uh, coming in and happening right now. Uh, things are changing and, uh, you know, the, the space in the next five, 10 years is very exciting. You know, things are just, it's a paradigm shift and uh, what we're seeing happen in front of us, which is very exciting. And, the, you know, the, the, the manufacturing industry and the blockchain use case is like a perfect fit for our business. So Jeremy and I partnered up and we're going strong with this, you know, initiative of blockchain and it's like getting a lot of support. That's very exciting for us, you know, and uh, yeah, we're just super excited and, you know, happy to be here. So uh, you talked about how you're peer-to-peer -peer connecting hardware manufacturers with, the, with hardware buyers and things like that, but how is this all going to work or is it working right now or what status is, is your sort of project at? And, and give me so, some sort of like some, some real-world applications or, or how I can sort of get my head around exactly what this is offering. Yeah, certainly. So, I mean, the manufacturing industry is very frequently uh, both uh, misunderstood because it's, it's fairly complex and, and also there, there's a lot of generalizations about it. So in its simplest form, think of manufacturing as there's three simple types of manufacturers. You got your brands um, who don't do any design, they don't do any manufacturing. That's someone say kind of like a Procter & Gamble. You've got your designers who don't do any manufacturing. Um, that's say someone like an Apple. And then you've got your the closest thing we have to pure payment manufacturers, which is like a, a Tesla, who, which even themselves with all their gargantuan manufacturing power, they still require a lot of assistance on the manufacturing side. And then of course, we have our very valuable and precious hardware innovators. We have our individual innovators where a lot of the, the hardware designs of the future are coming from and they require a lot of assistance. And so even in this year of 2018, with all our advanced technology technological capabilities, it's still kind of like the stone age out there. I mean, they're sending out armies of uh, procurement sourcing agents and making phone calls and sending emails and even you know scanning copies of uh, certificates of authentication, et cetera. And so essentially what we built out in the current form of SyncFab was a web 2.0 enabled procurement system that basically through a beautifully designed intuitive flow um, powered by the internet 2.0 as we know it, um, this streamlines that process. Now, by layering the blockchain, 
essentially you have the smart contract power to the self-executing agreements that will thereby naturally match the catalog processes that we have available with the requirements, the well understood requirements we've taken the time to understand of the supply chain product program managers and purchase managers. So there's a whole host of uh, certifications that come in, material requirements, um, specs and call outs that go into these very sophisticated engineered um, digital files that they'll send along called computer aided design files. And we will streamline that process, executing them on the smart contracts. Um, and so working with industries like the automotive industry. So a very simple example would be, um, we, we can't say a company like Tesla because of all these NDAs, but a company, a car company say, and they have certain parts that go into those cars and those parts, they need to know who can manufacture a certain amount of those parts according to certain specifications over a certain period of time. We'll put them together according to a certain budget, according to a certain turnaround time using a specific material with quality control uh, measures in place to follow that and to make sure that those quality control measures are met, which the buyer then gets to inspect and to approve before those parts are shipped out. And then at that point, the financial value of that agreement is unlocked. And then the, the transaction is complete with all the records and certifications behind that, essentially to back that up for future reference. So if I uh, am a person and I've come up with a design for something I want to have it manufactured, is this something I can go ahead and do using your system right now, or is this still something in development? No, it's already live. So if you are a designer and you have all of your design documents in order, you have your computer design files, you have your specifications, you have a, a fairly good idea of what it is that you require, you simply sign up as a buyer, you submit your requirements, you put in what your turnaround time is required for when you need to get those, so that you can complete the, the assembly therein, you submit it, you will get the, the quotes for your project, you choose the one that you want, and then the process runs runs its course from there. And uh, where would someone go to do uh, that? So uh, currently it's on syncfab.com. Yeah, so just for clarification, so we're in version 2.0 and this blockchain initiative and token sale is to uh, fund for version 3.0, which is the integration of blockchain and integration of MFG token and all the other specs that will be rolled out uh, for the rest of 2018. Okay, so, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that the smart contract and the blockchain component are really going to power the paradigm shift vis-a-vis -vis the incentive structure to make the supply chain more responsive, so to get a lot more responsive quotes to those smaller and medium-sized buyers who are currently being muscled out or pushed out by the really big buyers, as well as streamlining the, the quality control and the procurement process to make it faster and cheaper, as well as keeping the original documents and the original certifications available only to those authorized users in the blockchain format so that they can be accessed across increasingly complex and, and sophisticated supply chain tiers that are uh, infrastructure agnostic. So say you've got a tier three supplier um, in another part of the world using a different database and they're not in the same database as uh, a larger corporation. Well, for an individual inventor, that may not be as relevant, but they would still like to have access to that certification for that product that was, that was made. So through the block blockchain, that will power that going forward. Great. And so let's talk about the ICO. Uh, is it uh, currently live? Uh, what, what's the specifics of it? Uh, how long is it running for? When? Uh, where can people find out more about it? What price is it at? Uh, and, and what is it you're actually getting when you participate in the ICO? Sure. So the MFG is essentially it's the world's first manufacturing token. And we're selling 30% of the MFG token currently in the current sale. We're right now in the pre-sale phase, which just began on January 1st, the public pre-sale. Um, and our current hard cap is at around uh, 30 million US dollars, which varies day-to-day uh, -day depending on the price of Ether. And the price of those tokens currently is um, 1250 MFG to Ether before bonuses. Um, and so the schedule thereby is the, the main public sale is scheduled for February 15th and we're currently in the pre-sale phase. Um, now, the way the tokenomics for those tokens is gonna work is essentially the buyer will be able to use those tokens for RFQs, what are called uh, request for quotes. And 
also for reorders and what are called ECRs or engineering change requests in the order as it's already proceeded down the pipeline. Uh, we also foresee a lot of other very exciting and interesting uses and applications for those tokens, creating new income streams for the manufacturers. So why we're really excited about this is on the one hand, uh, we're creating an opportunity, leveraging the blockchain technology to build a new layer of a new economy on top of the existing economy for the manufacturing industry, um, creating new income streams for the blue collar working class, while also making the supply chain more responsive to smaller and medium sized hardware buyers, inventors and innovators at the same time. Very interesting. Andy, do you have anything you want to add to that about the ICO and, and what's involved with it? Yeah, so, you know, just an FYI. Um, so in terms of the, the current token sale, it's the quote unquote public uh, pre-sale. So there's no minimum participate as long as you pass our KYC and AML process. Uh, we just want to make sure that, uh, you know, you know, uh, unqualified funds or Ethereum is not uh, being uh, accepted by us. So we just want to make sure uh, that's clarified. And there's been some questions about that. So uh, anyone can participate as long as you pass the KYC and AML. And uh, our, our current 25% uh, bonus public presale concludes on the 15th of February, which is this also the same day that it starts for the public sale. Just an FYI, we're going to be kicking off our public sale uh, at Anarcho, Anarcho Poco, your conference. So we'll, we'll be there to kick it off and uh, we'll be there for the entire duration to the 19th. Uh, so anybody who's attending, definitely come by and, uh, you know, uh, speak with us, uh, talk with us, you know, support us. Uh, we'll be happy to, to talk with you guys over there. And, and, and if I can add for a moment, I mean, I, I know when it comes to the topic of manufacturing, you know, people tend to get a little intimidated, like it seems very uh, complex or, or hardware, you know, people like to say hardware is hard. Um, so, I mean, one thing we're really excited about in addition to creating this new incentive structure for the working class or those who have, you know, sort of been viewed as being left behind by all this technological development, creating a new income stream opportunity for them is at the same time empowering the inventiveness and the creativity of individuals that's now made possible with all these new computer aided design technologies. Because, I mean, there's a lot of ideas floating around out there and in a very customizable environment where, where people's preferences are um, you know constantly evolving and um, you know with new procurement channels like Amazon people are wanting to customize those things that they purchase that you know their ideas now can be used in interesting new ways and as we look to revolutionize manufacturing here at SyncFab we really want to enable them and empower the creativity and the inventiveness in the individuals who want to help us support revolutionize the manufacturing industry and so all of you are really good candidates to to work with the mfg token and to help support the revolution of the manufacturing industry yeah it's uh, definitely uh, been so interesting to me to see all the different applications that are coming on stream right now in terms of the blockchain and seeing how it, pretty much every industry can be kind of revolutionized in one degree or another uh, using things like the blockchain and tokenizing uh, things uh, it's uh, it's you know this this thing is not going away some people say oh this is like a fad or <laughs> no this is not at all uh, so it's going to be very interesting so uh, very interesting too that your launch of your ICO is officially on February 15th that's actually the very first day of an Arcapoca, which you guys uh, mentioned you'll be here uh, and, and we'll, uh, you'll be here straight through through CryptoPoco and through the Dollar Vigilante Summit, so February 15th all the way through the 19th. So for people coming down, you will have the opportunity to meet people like SyncFab and, and uh, hear more about what they're doing and get a better idea of, uh, of what's going on. And there'll be many others like SyncFab down at an Arcapoco and CryptoPoco and the Dollar Vigilante Summit. Um, I should mention that most of them are going to be sold out soon. An Arcapoco is very close to selling out at the moment. Uh, CryptoPoco as well, the Dollar Vigilante Summit, not as much because that's uh, um, uh, we have a lot more room for that one. That's, uh, that we, uh, it probably won't sell out the Dollar Vigilante Summit, but NarcoPoco definitely almost will sell out probably in the next week or two. So uh, if you do want to come down and check out those sort of things, definitely register soon to make sure you get your, your space. And uh, Jeremy and Andy, is there anything that uh, we haven't talked about that you wanted to get across about SyncFab and your ICO? Well, I just thought it was, well, first of all, I just want to say, you know, we're, we're really big supporters of the Dollar Vigilante and for, you know, that part of the conference. We're really glad we got in early and so we're big supporters and we, we hope that all of you will come down there and support Dollar Vigilante and be there for, for the kickoff of our, of our main public sale. 
but also what you were saying earlier about you know blockchain being applicable in so many industries, Jeff. Like, uh, they're, they're not to sound boring, quoting this you know Deloitte survey that came out, but they surveyed top executives in industries um, that, that were looking at where blockchain can be applied in what particular industries, and what, where they were researching solutions and, and applications. And interestingly enough, 58% of those favorable respondents were in the manufacturing supply chain industry with only about 30 or so percent in the fintech industry, which is really interesting because, um, I mean, they certainly, the, the response was certainly in line with our vision, but we're the only, we're the only pure play in that space right now. So we're, we feel um, very uh, fortunate and, and also, um, you know, we, we have a very big uh, task at hand. So just to the extent that we can, we can recognize that the, the, the pure play in the blockchain with the manufacturing supply chain, I just wanted to add that, that comment based on what we've been seeing in the industry, because there's a there's a lot of projects out there right now. There's a lot of companies, and um, we we really just you know, we're very passionate about our mission to revolutionize manufacturing, and, and we want to share that with with more people who are learning. Yeah, That's I just want to. I, I just uh, sorry, Jeff. I just wanted to add on. So, uh, for anyone interested in what Syncfab is about in our token sale, just visit blockchain.syncfab.com. We have all the information there. You can read about our our company on the white paper one pager presentation. We have a thriving uh, Instagram account, um, you know, Telegram, Facebook. So, you know, we're 24-7 we're ready to answer your questions. And, you know, if when you're ready to participate, just let us know and then, you know, we'll, we'll help you along the way. So we really appreciate the support and it's, uh, it's been overwhelming. So we're very excited about everything. Thank you. That's great. And we'll have the links to all that down below so you can check that out. And uh, we'll be seeing Jeremy and Andy down here, as I mentioned, at Narcopoco, CryptoPoco, and the Dollar Vigilante Summit. We'll have links for all those down below as well. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share. And that's it for the Dollar Vigilante, helping you to survive and prosper during and after the dollar collapse. The most important and profitable investment conference in the world is returning in February 2018. In 2016, the TDV Internationalization and Investment Conference, led by world-famous investor and freedom fighter Jeff Berwick, focused on Bitcoin when it was at $400. It also focused on gold mining stocks, featured by Ed Bugos, which ended up gaining hundreds of percent that year. In 2017, the TDV Summit focused heavily on cryptocurrencies. Many speakers pounded the table to buy Bitcoin at $1,000. It has since hit $10,000 and others focused on other cryptos, such as Dash, which was $20 at the time and is currently over $600. If you attended the last two years and took advantage of all the information you learned, you would have become wealthy. And on February 19th, the TDV Internationalization and Investment Conference is back. Speakers include Jeff Berwick, who will give out his next cryptocurrency and ICO picks, as well as laying out how to internationalize your lifestyle to become a prior taxpayer using the Five Flag Lifestyle and cryptocurrencies. TDV's senior analyst, Ed Bugos, will lay out his gold mining stock picks for 2018, as well as what he foresees for the markets as a whole. David Morgan, the most respected silver analyst in the world, will give his insights on where silver is headed in 2018. Vix Ware of RoadToRuta.com will expand on cryptocurrencies and precious metal strategies. Other speakers include G. Edward Griffin, Jeffrey Tucker, Roger Ver, Trace Mayer, and more. The TDV Summit is held on February 19th, and we recommend coming to Anarchopolco from February 15th to 17th and Cryptopolco on February 18th for five straight days of freedom, inspiration, investment ideas, analysis, and recommendations. You can find out more at tdvinvestmentsummit.com.